Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I want to share some new information regarding the Jody Who's in Troop case. Jody Who's in Troop was a news anchor. Mason City, Iowa. Almost 30 years ago, she vanished. I did a report outside her apartment complex where she disappeared and hasn't been seen since. This video right here. If you haven't checked out my video, please check it out because I am all around her apartment complex covering her case. I did this months ago. But new information is out. The Daily Mail has a new report out. Possibly a person of interest. She was um, romantically involved with a, another man. What's going on here? Check this news report out right here. This is a report by the Daily Mail. New details emerge of fling news anchor Jody Hoosentrup had with man she met just 10 days before she disappeared and photograph reveals location of their final date. There is Jody Hoosentrup right there. P.I. Steve Ridge says he has information about Jody Hoosentrup's disappearance. The journalist vanished from her Iowa home in 1995 and hasn't been seen since. P.I. Steve Ridge says she was in a fling with a man she met 10 days before she disappeared. The 30-year mystery of how news anchor Jody Hoosentrup disappeared may finally be solved after new details about a secret fling with a mystery man she met just 10 days before she vanished, has emerged. Jody Hoosentrup overslept for her job as a anchor at Mason City, Iowa news station KIMT on June 27, 1995, when a co-worker called to check up on her. The 27-year-old assured her colleague that she would rush into the station in time for her 6 a.m. broadcast. She was never heard from again and was formally declared dead in 2001, though Iowa cops consider the case active and open. But a crack PI claims he has previously unreported information about a fling with a man from out of state that the journalist met just 10 days before she went missing, as well as a photograph showing the site of her final date before her disappearance. What's going on here, people? PI. Steve Ridge told the son that she met the as yet unnamed man who was staying in a home on Clear Lake at a bar. They quickly made a fast connection with each other, Ridge said. The pair then started an intense relationship where they saw each other almost every day for a week. The private investigator said they spoke just about every day and she initiated the calls. But despite the intensity of their blossoming relationship, Steve Ridge said that Jody has not told even her closest friends about this relationship in order to avoid unwanted drama. She was never able to tell her friends about her new fling. When police arrived at her home just after 7 a.m. to conduct a welfare check after she failed to report to work nearly 30 years ago, they found who's in truth's belongings scattered around her now infamous red Mazda Miata in the parking lot including a woman's red shoe and a bent car key. According to police, there were also signs of a struggle and neighbors reported her hearing screams around 4 a.m. A partial palm print was smudged onto Hoosentrude's car, but investigators were never able to match it with the suspect. Ridge said that five days before she went missing, Jody met her date at his lakeside home where they sat on a back deck which he managed to get access to in order to document it. The last time she's had a date, it's such a powerful picture. A few days later, Jody was gone. He revealed that local cops put the mystery man under surveillance after identifying him as a person of interest in the case, even scooping up his street-side garbage for examination. The investigator is convinced that her fling with this man played an important part in the disappearance. I am certain that his Quickly, quickly blossoming relationship with Jody played a central role in her abduction days later. I believe without a doubt that this relationship was clearly a factor in what happened because this was not a random act of violence. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't a stalker that came out of nowhere. 
This clearly was someone she knew and had interacted with who was very aware of all the relationships or people that she saw. So that's why this is kind of a sensitive information, the investigator explained. Though he was later cleared, Ridge warned that uh, publicly identifying the man could jeopardize an eventual prosecution in this case. He believes that jealousy was the primary cause of her disappearance. Ridge said the pair both knew that their relationship would infuriate other suitors, adding Jody had strong admirers. A common theme here is anyone who shows an interest in Jody is potentially in harm's way because of jealousy, and so this would fall in that category as well. I have one very strong possibility of who that party is. I think he did have some relationship with her. Though the case has seemingly gone cold in recent years, the law enforcement is reportedly treating it as an active investigation, with Ridge claiming that they had have their eye on at least one person of interest. They remain hopeful that there will be some sort, some kind of evidence that will allow them to move forward with an arrest or an indictment, the investigator said. Yeah, so I was at the apartment complex um, where she last disappeared. Check out my video on that. What do you think? Will this case be solved? Former news anchor missing 30 years ago, folks. So hopefully... They've resolved this case. It's been a long time. It's one of the most uh, unsolved, notorious cases out of Iowa currently. Still a mystery, and there's still no resolution. Is the case coming to a close? Remains to be seen. I am monitoring this case. Again, check out my video. I was at the scene. There's a big river in back of her apartment complex, Mason City Iowa. Uh, I got my eyes on this case. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.